Hello everyone, my name is Daryl Barra. Welcome back to Maya Mondays. So I just got a question on YouTube about how do I take um, primitive geometry, like instant splines that, that XGen creates internally and get real geometry out of those and maybe another scene file. And, and the, um, there's a pretty simple workflow for this, so I'll, I'll walk you through it now. So this is a groom that I just started. This is actually early, early work in progress. This will become a more in-depth demo of how to do clumping and some really cool stuff a little bit later. But for now, what we want to do is we wanted to get a geometry representation of this X-Gen hair and another scene file. And this is really pretty simple to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and drop this density down to something really low because I don't want to generate a ton of curves here. I just want to, you know, walk you through the process and speed things up by having only a few strands for that guy. So, you, you know, if we increase the width of this, you can see that, you know, that's that's basically the hair that we're going to get sent back out as as and ultimately make geometry from. So when we're dealing with XGen, normally, you know, you have guides and then you have this preview of those instant splines that are happening. But we can tell XGen instead of doing rendering operations, we actually want to have it output a MEL file. So we'll just say create MEL file. I'm going to send it to my desktop. By default, this would go to a temp directory, but I switched it to go to my desktop. And I'll just say create MEL file. So it goes through, it does it in just a second there. And now if we jump over to another cut of Maya, you can see that we can now um, come in here and just do a file import. So if we do a file import and we look at this mail description, you can see it's 3.8 meg, so it's pretty good size. We'll go ahead and we'll import that in. So this is going to take Maya just a second to come through, and you can see that it went through and it, it built um, it built this description for me into NURBS curves, which is which is great. But unfortunately, um, what what the user wanted was not just NURBS curves, but they actually wanted to have geometry there. So this is really simple to do inside of Maya. We're just going to use the extrude tool. Now, the problem is normally with the extrude tool, it only works on one object, really. You could pick an object and then you can extrude it. So I'm going to show you a simple little little MEL script that lets you take any tool. And I've, I've highlighted this before in another demo. I think it was one that was uh, the, the solar panel field working with large geometry. But it's still good to go over this because making a Maya tool be repetitive on a, on a selection is, is super simple to set up and extremely powerful. So let's just walk you through that. So we've got this NURBS curve. This is going to be my piece of geometry that I'm going to use to extrude here. So we'll just put this down to a value of something like 0.2. So normally in Maya, you know, you take that NURBS curve, you'd select a piece of geometry, you'd go to your surface command and you'd say extrude. And I'll bring the options up for this and we'll kind of re reframe our shot here sort of up, up like this. So it's that inside curve there that's that's selected. And I've set this up to um, a couple things I changed. I have at path turned on, component turned on, um, creating um, polygons instead of NURBS in this example. And I've cranked up my number on the V. So it's got 20 steps and then eight around. So you hit apply on that and you can see that it goes through and it builds this, this little tube. You can kind of yeah, if we say show, uh, if we hide those NURBS curves, you can see, you know, it, it built a tube. Great. Now I need to do that on all those curves, on all 1,039 curves. So Maya doesn't really do that out of the box, but it's super simple to just create a little um, kind of express or a little little script of mail here that that basically takes my selection. So and I'm 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 throwing that into a variable called dollar sign selected. So I'm getting my selection. I'm actually reversing the order of that, and I'm and I'm adding another each expression here. So I'm saying. Basically, for everything in my expression for each, go through and, and, you know, in that selection, run this command. And then you can see in the command, normally, like if you did an extrusion, if we looked at our, our mail here, you know, it's going to be, I'm highlighting it right here. Here's here's the mail command, right? And, 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 and it's it's hardwired to NURB circle, and then you do the extrusion on this. So what we're doing is we're basically saying, you know, NURB circle is going to be my dollar sign selection zero. So the, the first one in my selection is my NURB circle. And then for every other one of my guys, do the each command. So go through and basically run the extrusion on curve one, run the extrusion on curve two, run the extrusion on curve three. So this is basically saying my first one is going, you know, my first selection, my object zero in my selection is my NURBS curve. And then for every other one, just work your way through and keep extrude, 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 extrude. So it's going to execute that extrude command a thousand times, essentially. So really, really straightforward there. So we can close this guy down. So all we have to do is grab this guy. We'll go up here and we'll just grab that. And then we'll add to our selection the bottom of that list, which is way down here. It's a thousand curves. Hold down my shift. Oops. Let's hold down my shift key and do that again. So we're going to go there and I can just hold my shift key and ah, let's do that again. Bear with me. So we'll grab that guy. We'll add to our selection that guy. We'll go up here to the very top of the list and we'll hold our shift key and we'll grab everything in between there. Sorry about that. 
So we've got our first selected object, which is our NURB circle. That's going to be our extrusion and then our whole list of guys. We click on our extrude command. It's going to take Maya just a second to run through this. And in a, in a matter of seconds here, it's going to generate a whole whack of hair for me, which is uh, exactly what we wanted to get. And then obviously this has got history, right? So if we went over here and we wanted to make it a little bit thinner, you know, we could go back to this NURB circle and just put that value down to a value of 0.1. So it's just a simple example of how we can output a MEL file of the original ge of the splines that were generated and modified using some, you know, some grooming tools and some guides and things like that. And then use an extrude tool on top of, uh, you know, kind of recursively inside of Maya with that little, that little, um, you know, that little couple variables here. So with loading up the selection and then for each, each object in my selection, kind of recursively running through that extrude command. So that's basically it. Please take the time to subscribe um, and I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.